everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have an 11 by 14 inch canvas. I'm going to do a swipe. Um, I think I'm going to do a swipe on the bottom and on the top I'm going to blow the paint up a little bit. And I might do some balloon rolls and some balloon kisses. We'll just have to see how it goes. Um, my paint today is the Blick Bright Red. And I have Amsterdam Turquoise Blue. And my next paint is Liquitex Basics Cadmium Orange Hue. Just going with the basics here today. And my next paint is the Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green. And my last paint is the Porridge Posse Paint Persian Autumn Yellow. Very pretty color. This is Christina Welsh's line of paint. Okay, my pouring medium today is um, two parts Floetrol, one part paint, squirt of GAC 800, and about a teaspoon of uh, Liquitex glazing medium I put, put in there too. So I'm going to use my white as my swipe color. So let's get started with laying down the paints. Just gonna lay the different colors all over here. I hope you're all having a good day today. I think sometimes simple is best. And this is just a simple swipe. Using a lot of primary colors here. I wanted something bright yet bold. And I decided to go the long way with the canvas instead of the short way. I love using red. Red definitely gives that pop of color. No silicone added in my paints today. I did add a little bit of water to each paint also. I didn't mention that. And I will show you consistency here. It's a little bit on the thinner side. Another color that gives a pop is, is orange. Um, an artist that I watch quite a bit that does a lot of swipes is Jilly Cube. That's G-I-L-L-Y. Cube is K-U-B-E. If you ever get a chance, you can check her channel out. Does a, a lot of really nice swipes. And she does a lot of balloon kisses and balloon rolls with her swipes also. And lastly, here's our yellow. Okay. 
So whether I get cells or not today, I am not sure. It's always possible when you use the Floetrol, which everything is mixed with here today. And now I'm just gonna fill in the gaps with some more, some more paint here. maybe a little bit more orange here something in my paint there and pull that off maybe a little pop of yellow Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. And now I'm going to just do a torch before I start swiping. And I might even tip a little bit. Just to incorporate the paint a little bit more together. Okay, so I think today I will use um, dampened paper, paper towels. So I'll get those out and get started with those. And I will lay down my swipe color here. And I think I'm going to start about this area right here and swipe down from there. Okay, let's see what we get here. You wanna make sure that your paper towel has contact. And I'm just going to let it glide down the paint. And then I'm going to let it fall over the edge and actually cover the edge too. And I'm going to pop it along the edge here too, just to cover the edges. Okay. Let's try that again. I think that's a really neat way to cover your edges right away with your paints. Okay, try that again. Pop the edges here. And I have just a real slim part to do here.
Okay. I'm going to lay a little more weight down. And I'm going to blow it with my little mini dryer, I think. Just blow it up and over and see what we get. I'm just blowing that orange up a little bit on that white. So it's not such a straight line there. Okay. Okay, that's looking good. I'm just going to do a little tilting. Just to move the paint a little bit. And now I will come back and tilt it this way. Work on my edge while I'm doing that. Okay, and now I'm going to give it a torch. See what we get coming up here. There are very little cells coming up. lot of little little cells coming up very cute up at the top here okay and I'm just going to take a real small piece here and just drag it down a little bit here to cover some of this okay now, I think I'm going to do some, some balloon kisses here. And my paint may still be too thick or too wet, but we'll just have to see. Well, I don't think my paint's too thick. are turning out pretty nice. As you can see I'm cleaning off my balloon after every balloon kiss that I do. You 
if you see canvas showing through, you can dip it a, a couple of times there. That looks very, very cute. Do a few more up here. That looks very nice. I think I will try a few down here also. See what we get. Oh, that looks pretty. Very, very cute. Just a way to play around with your paint. It's a very, very bright painting. If you wanted to add a little bit of color in a certain area, you can add it on your balloon and then just dip it. So add a little red there and a little bit of orange. Add a little red here. Okay, I'm going to add some more red there. The paint seems to be a little bit thin there. So I'm going to add some red and yellow. Very pretty. I'm just going to see if I can fix that little flower there. And if you're not happy with uh, the color that is there, what you can do is take your paper towel and just kind of scoop it up. Or bring it up like that and redip. That's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay, I'm going to put another one next to that. Okay, I'm going to give another torch and then I'll get you down for a close-up. And I think orientation wise, I would have it like this. So this would be the top here. Okay, let's get you down for a close up.
Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up. And off camera, I did a few more of the balloon kisses, and I decided that I liked the orientation the other way with this at the bottom. So let's go over the painting. Again, it's 11 by 14 inch canvas. I did a swipe and then I blew out some of the flowers. And this is the upper left-hand corner. And those little flowers turned out so pretty, very colorful. Just going on the left-hand side here. Here's the bottom. I really like how the bottom turned out. Got some cells in there. Those colors are just beautiful together. I'll take you up the middle here. And then over to the right. This is the upper right-hand corner. Some very pretty flowers there. Just whimsical. Here's the bottom again. Just very beautiful. These colors just went together so well. And here is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't, that would really be great. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.